Ladies and gentlemen, taking a quick look at U-Boat, a submarine simulator management survival hybrid type game. I don't really know a whole lot about it, but my god, it looked interesting and really in-depth. Um, I, I love games like this. I don't really know anything about submarines, though, so we'll see how that goes. It takes place during World War II, and I believe, judging from the name, this will be a German submarine that we're on. It comes out next week, so this is still a bit early access. It was given to me for free by the publisher for purposes of review, but that doesn't really impact my decision at all. I wasn't paid or anything for my opinions there of my own. Um, could be still some bugs. For now, there's tutorial and sandbox, but in the full game, both modes will be combined into one. And, and, and yeah. Um, again, I don't really know a whole lot about it, so I will be doing the tutorial. But I will run through the settings real quick. There are a few things that you can change here. Like how you want the units to be. You can just go like full nautical or stick with kilometers, but go with knots for the speed. Uh, Darker Nights is default on, but I've got that off because darkness in YouTube doesn't really work too, too well. But with Darker Nights on, uh, you will absolutely need a flashlight and searchlight for exterior areas. Realistic build, so water will pool in from uh, propeller holes and periscopes and stuff. Uh, realistic earth curvatures on, manual item delivery. Manually equip an engineer with a spare part and a medic. I don't really know exactly what all that is. Video settings, you can change an awful lot. Some of them are a little odd though, like filtering mode was set to defaults. I don't know what defaults filtering is. Uh, I'd imagine bilinear, but uh, I'm not sure. So I put that on anastrophic. <sighs> Maybe we're on 16X, uh, I don't know. Level of detail very high. Blooms off, motion blurs off, chromatic aberrations off. Those are all just things that give me a headache. Depth of field is on, which might also turn that off. We'll, we'll see about turning that off. Um, nothing too wild. I got the UI scaled up a little bit because it seems like it's a little difficult to read stuff sometimes. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Alright, without further ado, let's get into it. There's a nice, um, reminder thing for the realism settings. Let's just go into it. We are Hilbert Kohler, unassigned, not sure what the rank is, not much experience. Control Alt, ah, Alt allows me to control the UI, but this is the UI that's was generally a bit small at first. Uh, that was difficult to read a bit on phone and mobile. The tooltips even are a little bit rough, I think, still. I can customize the officer, level up, and select appropriate skills. My god, there's us. We're boarded, unassigned. We can be whatever we want. Holy shit. There's a lot of customizing going on. Some of these clip, um, a bit oddly. <laughs> like, I can have the suspender pants with the jacket. Can also have hair poking through the hat. It's a bit strange. Um, as far as skills go, leader, connections, meets all class requirements for the missions in the headquarters. And we have no idea what to unlock eventually. Okay. 
Interesting. Then we have add seaman. Seaman may aid officer and perform tasks to complete them faster and with better results. Later, when seamen have nothing to assist the officer with, they will bring supplies to the deck guns and the kitchen. Sure. Battery capacity that is dropping. We uh, we run out in 18 hours, 37 minutes. Oh boy. Fuel, sure. Oxygen, yeah. Discipline. When discipline falls to zero, a random sailor may break under stress. Currently, because of normal lighting and just the base, we are improving. In a half hour, it'll be full. Reputation 0%. Reputation points may be used to buy improvements in the port and our budget of 6,000. Telegraph, depth meter, rudder, and map. Not sure. Ubotopedia. <laughs> All right, so beginnings. Meet the captain. We managed to detect some vessels nearby. The port. Oh, good. We managed to discover the port that we're in. Great. Okay, yeah, let's meet the captain. Hello. Herr Offizier, Herr Kaloy. Get on board and prepare for the road. Our orders are on my our orders are on my desk. Something something. Leave baggage at my bunk. Read the message from the BDU. Okay. Let's let's hop on it. Get in there. So from what I know, we should have like free reign of of everything on the ship, around the ship, we can interact with a bunch of different instruments aboard the ship. Mm hmm. If, any, if anybody knows anything about submarines and what a lot of this stuff is, feel free to leave a comment. I'm okay with learning. Targeting site, of course. The searchlight. Character already has... So, because the person that I'm controlling has the briefcase in his hands, he can't really do a whole lot. So, I think we really have to just get a move on with it. Oh, boy. Ah, oh yeah. That's that's nice in close quarters. <laughs> uh, sure. Sure. A lot of nice details and stuff. That's quite nice. I like that. Uh, uh, blurry fonts. Yep, fine. The echo sounder. Where do I have to go? This way? Yeah, okay, there's the desk. Ah, there's my bunk. Excuse me, I need to get to my bunk. Pardon me. Good work doing, um, that. Okay, I guess that's that. And the desk. Open the ship log. Orders. 3rd of September, 1939, Berlin. Before noon on September the 1st, the transport vessel Falcon left the port in Edinburgh. We have information that a radar technology prototype had been loaded on it. We have reasons to think that the ship was sunk on its original course on the North Sea as a result of sabotage. Your task is to find the wreckage, retrieve the equipment, and if possible, avoid being detected by the British units. We cannot be linked to the sabotage or attempts to seize the radar. Okay. Sure. Ooh. Camera Perspectives. This view is called the Section View. It allows you to easily give orders to your crew and learn about the general condition of the ship. The game is fully playable using either Section View or the First Person Perspective. So if you prefer to play using only one of them, you'll never be forced to use the other. Oh, nice. The first mission will demonstrate the advantages of each of them, so you will be able to decide yourself which one you prefer. 
officer it's time to open the map and plot the course the easiest way to do that is to press m or the button on the upper right part of the screen good now set the ship's course by clicking on the right mouse button on the target oh fucking hell can we go like way out here i think so oh my god Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it doesn't go completely around. Okay. So, send to the view. Whoosh. Back here. So there. Very good. Now, analogously, do the same for the third and fourth waypoint. To spot them, you need to zoom out. Sure, sure. There it is. And there it is. Okay. It's time to start the engines. Click the highlighted button to show the telegraph. Oh boy. Now choose the highlighted second gear of the engine. Some dudes eating there. Whoop. Let's speed things up. Turn on time compression by pressing the highlighted button on the interface or click the middle mouse button. Well, hold on, let me look around a bit. Jeez. It, it just sort of did it automatically, I think. Okay, fine. <sighs> it's the engine room. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Turned off the power to the engine room. That's probably not what we're after. Okay. There's 39 food in the galley, crew quarters, people eating, everybody happy there. Control room, sure. Officer's room. Wait, didn't I rename myself? I thought I did. Is that even the face I chose? No, yeah, Dudeski, okay. Okay, so sure, let's zoom out a bit. And speed things up a bunch. Oh yeah, left click and drag for the uh, camera controls. Ooh. Shit. Um. <clears throat> so that's what right mouse button does. <laughs> I can change my... Oh, fucking hell. What the fuck are we doing? What are we? What are you doing? Jeez, who's driving this thing? <laughs> God, please. Come this way. Over here. Figure it out. Oh, okay. This is going splendidly. We're getting there, boys. <laughs> We're getting out there. It doesn't seem to be very good at automatically uh, figuring out where to go so there's your second destination and then the third okay wow <laughs> I fucking broke it real bad guys um yeah like real bad at a fourth destination now Okay. Um. That one up there, right? Okay. It it seems to know generally. There's your third destination. And the fourth destination. There. Okay. When we're in a friendly. <laughs> oh God. When we're in a friendly or neutral area, then also the fast travel mode becomes available. It's displayed next to the regular temp compression button. Ooh. Perfect time for you to get familiar with the boat and prepare for what is to come. I've prepared a list of things worth doing in the meantime. Select Kohler and assign him to necessary tasks. Or if you prefer to play in first person, click on him twice. We'll, we'll go first person for a bit. Find indisciplined soldiers, sailors who don't do their duties. And restock food in the galley. Okay. 
Okay. Well, restocking food, that seems to be right over here. I think. You know, 22 food. So we grab food and, uh... Okay, remember that if the gallery runs out of food, the cook will take random food from the storage to prepare the meals. Sometimes you may want to serve the crew a few food types. That will boost the discipline recovery at a cost of faster consumption. I suggest you do exactly that for better integration of our crew. Okay. Manually transfer, but there is a faster way. Click the galley tab on the right. Ah, galley. Right. Now drag the exotic fruits from the storage directly to the galley. Sure. Um, yeah, that's just all of them. Everything that fits. So now they get a mix of cheese and fruits. All right. Pretty simple. And I reckon I can have somebody do that automatically, and you are apparently not doing your job. Sleeping Sailor. It looks like Stefan Meyer decided to take a nap while on his duty. We should react to such a blatant lack of discipline. What punishment will be right for him? Fucking kill him. Holy shit. Ein Matrose der Kriegsmarine ist stets wachsam. Du bringst Schande über unsere Besatzung. Nun erwartet dich die letzte Ehre in deinem kümmerlichen Leben. Der Tod, den dir ein Offizier der Kriegsmarine bringt. Holy fuck. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The dude just took a nap. I run a, I run a very, run a very tight ship here, apparently. Oh my god. It just shot a man for sleeping. So where are we at? How are we doing up here? Search light, turn on. Don't think I need that. Oh. Oh, a space bar is like this super focused slow motion thing. Nice. Okay. Manual mode. Oh my god. Ah, oh, the people went away. Okay. Sure. Um. How do I not be on this? Not sure what F's doing. Ah, just escape. Okay. Just just took a few shots making sure it still works. Yeah what? Manual mode targeting sight. So I'm like acting for spotter for um some weapon or so. I think. Could be for this big gun up here, right? Whoa. It's a little little wet out here. <sighs> Jawohl. Yeah, I think. Ah, <clears throat> oh, can't shoot my own ship with it. Uh, uh, uh. Valves flood the tanks. So we like actually submerge then. Is that what I'm doing? <laughs> Did the people up on the surface are they okay? 
<lacht> ähm. Wechseln auf E-Motor. Switch to electric engines. Sure. Oh, I see. Going up. Um. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Kapitän? Leave position. Um. Let's I, blow I the tanks. Let's, let's go back up, because I don't think we need to be down here. <laughs> down below the sea. Low air reserves. Yeah, that's part of the problem, I think, of being in the water. Gyro compass. Turn that off. Is this important? So because we went down and then back up, I need to use the compressor on the surface to replenish air reserves. That's a pump. That's improving buoyancy, because that, that gets rid of the water, but we're okay with that. Uh, I need... Compressor-looking things. Well, here's the engine room. Because I'm not an engineer, I can't do anything there, so I think we're getting close. Workshop for replacement parts. Diesel compressor. Turn on the air compressor. There we go. That, that's gone. The cost of fuel. Turn on that as well. The electric one. Get them both going. Um. Sure. Well, it, that takes a while. All right, well, we're at the destination. Entering area, unidentified group North Sea. We've reached the area where, according to our intelligence, the Falcon wreck should be located. Keep your eyes open. We have to find it before the British. All right. Uh, leave position. Did we ever get those... I can play cards. We get the compressors turned off because considering that it's pretty dark, suggesting turn on the searchlight mounted on the conning tower. Don't think that we will spot the wreck otherwise. Yeah, sure. Hold on one second. We gotta turn them off. There we go, because we're at 98%. That's close enough, right? So. What's playing cards like? Oh. Do I need a buddy to play cards with? Can I add a guy? Hey, you. Improve my efficiency at playing cards. <clears throat> okay. I, I thought maybe we could actually play cards. That'd be kind of cool. The searchlight turn on. Uh, there, let me, let me do Lord. this. So looking for... Wouldn't it be like on the floor though? What the... Ah, okay. We just had to get a lot closer for it, apparently. The officers managed to spot the wreck, plot the direct course towards it. Uh, yeah, I don't see it, but okay. Sure. The Falcon wreck, tiny group, one to three. So we'll just go for it. Enable fast travel mode to rapidly move.
Look at that. In these crates might be the equipment that we are looking for. Let's try to check some of them. One thing at a time, though. Stop the engine so that we won't pass the wreckage. Right. Are we close enough, though? We're still 190 meters out. We can now check the contents of the crates floating from the wreckage. You can activate all objects floating on the sea surface in the same way as the stations of your boat. It's easiest to look at them in the first-person perspective. Right, like, I have to... Oh, I see. Stop, so we slow down. Right, that makes sense. And stop. Uh, we got 40 cans of canned bread. Hey, I'll take it. Wooden chest. Three cans of canned bread or so. More, more canned bread. There's a lot of... There's masses of a worship on the horizon. It's definitely British. We need to hurry. In this game, you won't be controlling just a single character, but all the officers. Officer Sommer is in front of you. He is an officer like Kohler and will be a playable character from now on. Considering that we found the wreck, equip him a diving suit and send... and send to the wreck to explore. Oh boy. Okay. Um, sure. Send a diver. Okay. So where do you go down at in this view? Like, I see the wreck down there, interestingly. It's quite nice. You can see it. Winch, send a diver. Oh, okay. Investigate wreck. Got it. On the bottoms, on the sea bottom lies the wreck of the Falcon. What would you like to do, Skipper? Go go to the wreck. You got it. Pull up the radar from the wreck. Okay. But, I'd like to go first person. Not as, not as Hans, though. As, um... Well, I can't control him. There's more stuff up on the surface, though. Flashlight doesn't work down here, I guess. Like, I think the thing to select Krug is, like, behind this or something, but I can't... I can't hide that. We're stuck with the alt thing open. Man, I can't see shit. It is dark. On the sea bottom lies the wreck of the Falcon. What would you like to do, Skipper? Pull up the large wooden box. Transport the radar to the main storage room. Main storage. That's the workshop. Engine room, galley, crew quarters, control room. Officer's room. Bow torpedo room. Ah. Up here. Transport the radar to the main storage room. There we go. Well, I mean... Carry radar prototype to Kragdutsky. No, not exactly. To the storage room. There we go. Yes. So they do that then. Okay. 
All right, it's there. Radar prototype. All right, so exit. Um, I guess since we're here, Golly, we'll uh, restock a bit of that for you. Ah. <laughs> and then I'd like to go still up to the surface and still open some of those boxes, because there's still a, there's still a few up there. Yeah, there's, there's still a bunch of stuff out here. So pontoon, open. Place on the deck, a wooden chest. Bunch more canned bread. Bunch more canned bread. So much canned bread. And pontoons, and okay, I think... I think that's everything. So if I climb up... Um, I'm not sure where the main storage is up here because it was like a big box on the section view, right? Uh, let's meet the captain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's already in storage. Okay, let's just meet the captain, I guess. Because on the sectional view, it's the big chest that's on the uh, top of the sh uh, sub. But there's no big chest here for me. Just these big raft things. So I don't know where it... Where it thinks it wants to store it, then. Oh well. Herr Offizier? It destroys readying its battle station, so good. Call out somewhere or we're all done. Oh no. Cut the rope with the diver. <laughs> Bye, Swammer. Fucking hell. Find the ballast tanks and dive. That was... Uh, I found them before. I did it on accident. When I was just fucking around with stuff. Um... Yeah, this, this thing. Go, Krog, go. You got this. Conrad. Somebody, I don't really care who. It's kind of an okay view, this. I don't know. Generally nice for like the general management of stuff. If you got a lot going on at once, I could see this view being good. Uh, I don't know which one I'd prefer though. For now, it's kind of the first person. Oh, she just like ducks on the water surface. Click the highlighted button and set the depth to 50 meters. Alarm. 50. Alarm so before when I dove, we just dove like eight meters then? Okay. Oh wait, we took uh there's there's a big hole there. That's a that's a problem, isn't it? I like this blue light, it's great. No, open that, climb up. Ugh. Pressure on the opening side is too high, I can't open it. Okay. Uh, it looked like we had a whole bit blasted off, though. So just head this way, then. Blue 
leak on board. At the evacuation hatch, hole in the hole. Hole's been breached. Fast press the space button on the keyboard. Carefully plan what to do as each second matters. There's two leaks on board. One is serious, but the second is smaller and won't be that dangerous until we dive to a greater depth. Don't see a way to save the aft compartment. Move the camera to the aft part of the boat and click the highlighted evacuation button. That's the minor one. This is the major one, though. Send Engineer Felix West for replacement parts to the storage room. Where are you at? You're resting. Get out of there. To the storage room. To the... St storage room. There we go. Take replacement parts. Replacement parts. Repair broken equipment and water leaks on board. Just all of them, I think, right? He's got plenty of space for it. Everything's ready. I can unpause the game now. Ugh. Oh my god. Let's go, Felix. Let's go. He can do the repair. Select him to order the repair of the leak in the evacuation hatch in the galley. Uh, can I just do it manually? Repair. One part. And then turn the pump to pump water out when it's done. Sure. One sec. Let him, let him actually repair this. Oh, you want me to do that now? Okay. Fine. So, Kohler in quotes. The pump. There it is. Turn on the pump. Okay. The pump can pump out water from all the compartments on board, but because of the resistance of the pipes, it's most efficient to do this from the central compartment. Although there is no need now, at deeper depths you may be forced to carry water with buckets to the central compartment. Oh, okay. Okay. Leak fixed. We did it. Quick, eat some cheese. Eat that bread. Get it, get it, get it. You're so in the way, though. Oh god. Alright, you release. Okay. So blow the ballast tanks to the surface. So blow the ballast tanks and surface. So I guess we got out then? I feel like we didn't get very far. But okay. We have negative buoyancy, but for the most part, it's still possible to compensate using the engines. Right. Get rid of that. The engines are currently fucked. Compressed air reserves are running low. Right. No, no, no. Don't. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Quit it. We've used most of our... Oh, we used the compressed air. That's why it was dropping so f Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Have to use the air compressor to regenerate them, but it's located in the flooded compartment. So it's time to dry the stern compartment. Open the bulkhead leading to that to start repairs. Remember to repair the hole at the top of the hole first. After that, take the air compressor and turn it on. Okay. I got this. Don't flood the tanks. What the fuck you doing? What 
kill us all. Why is that a green dot? Uh, I don't know. I've got three replacement parts, so it should be okay. So, um... You guys may not want to be in here right now. I'm not really sure. Okay, I guess that's fine. So repair that. If it's a, if it's a major one, yeah, still just one part. Okay. I thought maybe it would take um, like more parts because it's a more severe hole. So, Dudeski, come over here and turn on the electric compressor while well, he's working on this, because apparently we can use that now. The diesel is busted, though, so we'll have to repair that as well as the engine. We'll need um, repairs done. Okay, so Felix has got that. So what's most important? Oh, I never put on the breathing apparatus. Oh, that's what it wanted me to do. Stay in breaking compartments underwater or with toxic air. Ah. Um. Yes. Ahem. <laughs> it's okay, the electric compressor is on, so this should be increasing. We detected some wreckage nearby. Okay. Can head down toward it. Well, just like over there, I guess. I don't think we're actually moving right now, though, are we? Maybe we are. Oh, yeah, we are. Okay. And then back to section view. We need West. To repair electric engines. You could probably turn the lights back on to like white lights, right? I don't think we need to be blue still, do we? Somewhere there's a thing for that. Yeah, here. Back to white lights. Ah. Magnificent. There's water just generally everywhere, but we are. What? What? Shoot down the aircraft. Krog. Krog, now's your chance. Uh. Where was the... Yeah, this guy. Krog, go, go, go. <laughs> Hauling ass through. Excellent. Manual mode. Why do I see my mouse? What the? Excuse me. <laughs> Repair completed. What? What the? F and the aircraft is what we're after, but I'd like to do it manually if I can. <laughs> Targets fire at aircraft because manual aiming just doesn't fucking work. Like, at all. Oh, no. Stay on. And now I have to repair it. Oh, you did that again. Oh my god, game. Game, please. Captain. Oop, okay, it's coming in. Oh man, the slow motion. That is really slow. Uh, uh, 
Reloading. Uh, aircraft flew too fast after our boat was detected by the destroyer. There has to be an aircraft carrier nearby. Did I get it? I think I got it. There's a hydrophone mounted on your boat. If the aircraft carrier is moving, I'm able to detect it. Select Adam Neumann, our radio officer, and assign him to the listening room on the hydrophone. Okay. Sure. So escape. I guess we found him. It just served Rami to him. Listening room. Hydro... Hydro phone. <laughs> Need to first submerge to at least some depth. Send any free officer to the valves in the control room. Oh. Okay. Um, Krog. Leave position. Well done. You did good. But, uh, come down. Come down. <laughs> Close that. Good luck, everybody up there. It seems like they just sort of teleport when we decide to submerge. So it's fine. And we plugged up all the holes, so we're okay to head the other way. That's pinging. That's the pump. Um, yeah, flood aye, the aye, tanks. Aye, Do that. Then we'll go to, um, I don't know, just a bit of depth, like 20 meters. Manual mode not available in the demo. No! Okay, so we just waited out, I guess. Damn. Additional sailors. One sailor. Detection range increases by 25%. You know what? You may as well have a have a couple spares. I don't know. And then map. Where are we? Okay. And there's that downed aircraft. Nice. Can probably loot that. Ooh. That way. Okay. Surface it. Blow the tanks. We detected a thing. I think I get it. Although. Let's head that way first. And then over to there, because I want to see if I can maybe uh, get something out of the wreckage of the aircraft. I think that'd be kind of cool. So speed it up. So we surface and all that. There we go. Turn off time compression. Radio man clearly hurt the propeller of a large vessel not too far from here. Turn on the map and click on the right mouse button of the aircraft carrier group to set the course to it. I think I... I think I did. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so no, I meant you can. Ah, oh, I see. First person in the. Ah, okay. So that's. I was trying to figure out how the hell to do that. So you can stop doing that. And Krug. When we surface. You're not going to let me, are you? I have to, like, actually. Okay. It's, like, out there somewhere. Oh, wait, what? Jesus, way up there. Holy hell. Okay, it's done. There we go. We're going to need all the torpedoes to get such a prize. Slider engineer wants them to load a torpedo on one of the free launchers. One second, though. Let me just... Eh. Because I guess you're going to want me to stay... I want to know what that is. I am curious. Ah. So west. Uh. Steam propelled or electric? I 
I guess we're going with electric, because that's what we have loaded. Okay. It just says attack the carrier. Am I able to attack it from like way out here? Because we got, they're all loaded. Okay. So we head up to the attack periscope, right? Cannot be used underwater. Oh. So do you want me to surface and then, I don't know what the hell it wants me to do. Like what? <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll we'll surface. Um, because I I guess we're okay to do that. Maybe it actually surfaces now. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Switch to diesel. Sure. Leave that, cause you're you're doing the thing with the buckets. But come on, let's go. Get the fuck out of the way. Um, yeah, this way. So we climb up. The attack periscope. Mm. Manual mode. Not sure, like, do you want me to head over to it or, or what? Entering area, aircraft carrier. Okay. We need to see the enemy first to maximize our chances. I suggest you give Kohler some help. Select him and press the illuminated button two times to recruit random crewmen to work with the officer. This will help him with observation and thereby increase our range of vision. Right, because I've got him on the periscope. So there we go. Two people. And that boosted by like 25% per, I think. Yeah. Something like that. Is that right? Okay, now we've got it. We've spotted the aircraft carrier. It has... Jesus. It has separated from its escort, probably because of the fog. It's a great moment to attack. In similar situations, remember to keep your boat at the right distance to stay undetected. Click the highlighted button and choose the first forward gear of the engines. Yeah. Okay. Start the targeting process. Select Officer Kohler. In the upper left part of the screen, you'll find a list of targets spotted by the officer. Click with the right mouse button on the aircraft carrier to start the targeting process. This will make the officer focus on taking the bearings of the target instead of, for example, looking for new targets. And if I go manual mode? I can't see shit. Lock on the escort carrier. Oh, fucking hell, I don't understand manual mode at all. Okay, you figure it out. Jeez. Uh. Resume. What the fuck? Uh. Okay. Section view. Section view. Dude ski. Klaus is on it. Okay. Fine. I guess.
I... What the fuck is happening with this right now? Oh my god. Release from duty. Get the fuck out of here. I'm on this with two people. Right click that. It just boots me out and some other asshole takes over. Okay, so we had to go into like the big overhead map thing to be able to click this apparently. Like I did targeting stations because it wanted me to right click it, I guess from this view, not any other view. It didn't tell me that. Um, but I went to the targeting stations and clicked with Krug Dutsky anyway and were able to start calculating this stuff. And then big overhead map type thing and and we're, we're okay. So click on all launchers sequentially to flood them. Right. And then fire. Can't really see him at all. The uh, the tutorial is not very clear on a lot of stuff though, like which view you need to be in for certain things, and generally, like it was telling me to fire at this thing before I even had coordinates locked, and it didn't tell me how to lock coordinates at all. But again, it was through this. It said something about right clicking the ship, but you right click the ship and it just takes you out of the um, instruments. Uh, I don't know. Not really sure. Are those the torpedo? I think those are the torpedoes there. There we go. Serious damage now. Do we need to load more? It's health dropping. Um. Yeah, there it goes. Blech. And now escape from the escort. Okay, we're already. No. So crash dive. The ringing of the alarm bells of the escort is heard. It's only a matter of time before they detect us. Right. Now press the highlighted button. Set the target up to 180 meters. Holy shit, you want me to go way down. Uh, 180, but okay, sure, 200, sure. <laughs> when escaping from an enemy underwater, remember that most hostile warships have hydrophones on board. Because of that, it's good to turn off everything that emits sound on your ship. If you move the cursor to detection... <sighs> if you move the cursor to detection notification on the right part of the screen, you'll see a list of such devices. Right. The gyro compass, the electric compressor, the steering engines, the electric engines. Right. Okay. So we go section view. Section view. West. Turn that off. It helps, but it's not super important right now. The compressor, turn that off. Krug, turn off uh, steering engines, electric engines. Okay, is that everything? 88 decibels noise from the steering engines and electric engines. The, uh, like, do we just sit and wait? Like, I could turn off the engines, I guess. That's just the lights. I think that's everything turned off that I can turn off. We're still making a lot of noise from the steering engines and electric engines, but I don't think I can uh, turn those off. 
And the gyro compass is offline, so we can't see shit. Dangerous depth. Poses some danger to parts exposed to external pressure. Sure. And new objective reached the port suddenly. Unfortunately, we have to stop here. You will be able to learn about the further fate of the crew and one of the upcoming updates. If you wish to keep playing, we suggest you choose the sandbox mode for the main menu. After completing this tutorial, you should be ready for the challenges of managing your own submarine on your own. Hope you enjoyed the game. Wow. Um. Woofed. Okay, the tutorial needs a lot of help. Again, it, it sort of skips over a lot of stuff sometimes. It doesn't, it's not incredibly clear on which view you need to be in for certain things and how to do it. Um because so many things just don't work if you're not in the right view and the general ui is a bit just unresponsive at times it's a cool concept but it needs a lot of work for being released in i think like five or six days um there's there's some work to be done still really cool concept really unique i love the idea of it but man we'll see we will see